Hello from a beautiful Leicestershire. You can see Loughborough in the horizon there. Like the uh, Leicester Outwards. Or Loughborough Outwards, I'm not sure. I'm sure there's a sign. Sign. Oh, Probably tell me where it is. Felicity's Woods, apparently. And we're doing a little update on the width. Since my last video update, or just video in general, I've done a few bits. First of all, I wanted to tint fog lights, tried out some halogen yellow bulbs. They uh, blown after literally hours. I went for a drive and one already went. I was like, bargain. So I thought I'd tint them, but I never got around to it. So I just bought some LED yellow fog light bulbs from Amazon, I think. 22 quid, not too bad. Probably decent yellow light, what I wanted for that like, Euro look. After the um, yellow fogs, I wanted to get the rear engine mount done because on cold starts it shook the whole car and then just on fast gear changes when I was tuning, it just didn't like it. So I don't know how shagged it was, but I've got a new one. It's not quite Munchune, but it's still got Powerflex poly bushes. I think I got it from Seco Developments, .co.uk, 117 quid. Then I got it fitted at a local garage. Shout out to them, because it's a pretty cheap labour, 40 quid just to fit it. I didn't want to mess around with like the engine and all that jazz. I'll just show you the un underneath shot of the rear engine mount. Two big bushes, power flex. Does a decent job, car don't rock around anymore. So at the minute I'm rocking some cheap budget tyres, Infinity Eco Max or something. Just after dropping off the car to do the rear engine mount, got a phone call halfway home and they were saying how the front tyres were shot, the front passenger side, that was half worn on the inside side if it's a tracking problem. And then the driver's side had massive bulges on the inside. In May, I think I'm going to the ring with Ian who's on the Driveway TV channel. Should be subscribed. And then if it's not clashing, I think I might be going to Rockingham for an evening session. I think it's like four to eight or something. So I want to get the car almost track ready. So I'm thinking about stripping it or at least stripping the boot out a bit. Don't know whether to get some handling package bush kits from Powerflex for the suspension. Hopefully it should be a track whip soon. I've also found out the previous owner, what they actually did to the exhaust system. Uh, I've looked into it and apparently it's the Graham Good ST175 package and it's basically a Miltec 4 to 1 collectors, then it's Miltec flexi pipe slash down pipe to I think it's a Miltec sports cat and then it's a cat back system but the original owner or the owner that had it before me had the OEM bat box for stealth look but I'm in two minds whether to get an aftermarket bat box seeing as I've got full exhaust system and possibly a bigger tip because I think the tip's a bit teeny weeny it's uh, standard I'm sure you've seen an original bat box but yeah highly restrictive but it sounds decent in a minute with the exhaust setup so I'm quite chuffed with that instead of all this rambling I'm just going to cut to the chase and do the exhaust video you've probably been waiting to hear since it's been updated I don't know actually. Yeah, it's just <laughs> afternoon, yeah. Afternoon, it's glorious, isn't it? For a week, yeah. Yeah. It's been a bit rubbish lately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 